Welcome to the TMC Newsroom. My name is Rich Tarani. Thanks for watching us today. It is a crisp fall day, and we are at Interop New York 2011. And on our program is Chris Featherstone, the CTO of V3. Chris, welcome to the show. Thanks for having us. So tell me a little bit about V3. What do you guys do? So V3 Systems provides an appliance for virtual desktops. In fact, these virtual desktops are actually faster than physical desktops. How does that work exactly? How are they faster? So we take a, um, an appliance and we utilize the high execution pieces of a virtual machine and put it local on solid state storage. And then what we do is we take the user data and we throw that back onto shared storage. And we basically reduce as much complexity and as much latency as possible to provide virtual desktops that are as fast or faster than a physical machine. Well, they, they're, lo they're local, basically? Yeah. So you have something on the local, so really, the, okay, so centralized data storage, but then local processing? Yes. Is that how you think yeah. of it? Yeah. So how, does, how do tablets work with that? So it's, it would be just a thin client for us. So we could basically just connect up through an application, and then I could utilize my full, vir my full virtual desktop from a, from a tablet like you have. So is there any sort of uh, cost? Differential? Do I save money by doing this? Sure. The, the operating expense alone uh, by utilizing a virtual machine is absolutely realized. So in terms of updating, patching, um, just the speed and consolidation that we provide, because we actually have an appliance that does, uh, a single appliance that does 50 to 400 virtual machines on a single box. So we actually can get a, a lot of consolidation, a lot of high performance virtual machines out of you know, contemporary hardware than we could out of normal uh, virtual desktop. So what does that cost per, per session? So it, it depends on the applications that you really want to, uh, uh, that you want to offer to a user. We've seen it anywhere from, uh, you know, straight out of the box at $500 you know, dollars of each, each virtual machine down to between $300 of virtual machine. Do you save on licensing costs? Is that where a lot you, of the savings you come can, from? You can by virtue of the number of servers that you don't have to utilize right. uh, because now you can consolidate to to more or to, to less servers. What sorts of customers are you uh, picking up? Is it across all industries or mm -hmm. specific in certain ones? It really is across all industries. We have a number of enterprise customers um, that, that's really exciting. We have uh, industries in energy, we have industries in, in legal, we have universities, uh, and then just straight you know, everyday uh, enterprises that are offering you know, whatever. Um, we also then are doing very well because it's a service now. We have a lot of managed service providers that want to get in the game of finally offering a virtual machine as part of their service that they offer. So, so if I'm watching this video right now, how do I know if I'm a candidate? So it's, it's indicative of I want to offer a, you know, have a, a virtual machine that I can actually have anywhere and on any device. Really what I think of it as is semantic computing. Finally we're at this crossroads of I have a number of cloud services that I have that I have at my disposal. Where are virtual machines in that in that mix, or where's computing in that mix? I want to have the I want to have the control over what I want to compute on, where I want that, and whenever I want that. Always where I left my desktop, and that's really what we provide is semantic computing for this age of cloud. So what's next for the company? So we're uh, we're heavy growth. We have uh, an office also in you know in Salt Lake City, Utah, as well as in the Netherlands. Um, you'll see us, us just, you know, just gener generic growth within the company. Awesome. As well as uh, targeting the managed service providers, really, really key for customers to back up to, right? As maybe a primary or a secondary uh, disaster recovery environment, as well as then uh, a goal to drive to utility computing for, for virtual machines. Fantastic. Well, thanks for being here today. Thanks. It's a pleasure. Yeah, likewise.